We have arrived to the third and final part of our three-part grid tutorial for Editor X, where we'll be making our layout 100% responsive for all breakpoints. All this now. If you haven't seen the first or second part of this tutorial, I encourage you to go ahead and hit the link in the top right corner of this video and start there. And then come back to this video. So let's go ahead and go to our tablet breakpoint, which is 750 pixels to 1000 pixels wide. And immediately it takes me to somewhere in between there, 768 pixels. I want to bring this to 1000 pixels. All right, and this doesn't look too bad. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the columns width by selecting the image, going to the breadcrumbs section, adjust grid, edit grid, and I'm going to change this from 3.5 FR to 2.5 FR. This is going to give me a little bit more room here. I'm going to click done. The logo is a little large for my liking. I'm going to bring this down to 125 and by changing the width of the logo for this specific breakpoint, it will affect this breakpoint and any breakpoints below it. It will not however affect the desktop breakpoint and we can go and test that by clicking desktop and you can see it's at 150 pixels, tablet 125. Now let's bring this to its smallest width, which is 751 and that looks good. We have to remember this screen size will not be this tall, the height. So it kind of looks awkward now, but it won't when we're actually on a tablet. Now, when we break past that, you can see our view, our breakpoints switching. Now let's design our mobile breakpoint. So I'm going to bring this up to 750 pixels because that is the largest width for this breakpoint. Then I'm gonna select the image, go to the breadcrumbs, go to section, adjust and edit grid. And I'm gonna make this column two FRs. Hit enter. And now this is 50%. This is 50% of the total width. Next, I'm gonna add one more row. And I can do that by going down here clicking add row and I'm going to change this to a minimum width of 150 pixels no max I'm going to adjust this one here for 150 pixels and no max and 150 pixels so that is the minimum height I want for these three rows right here and here I'm going to make this a minimum of 600 pixels. So these three rows here are going to be for these three blue buttons. And then this top row is going to be for the image, logo, text, and button. Start now button right here. So I'm going to click done. And now I'm going to rearrange the content for my grid. So I'll start by unstretching this image here and unstretching these containers. I'm gonna move these containers down here for right now. Careful not to grab the text elements in the containers. And I'm gonna resize this. Next, I'm gonna grab my image, place it right between these two columns in this one large row and click stretch. Next, I'm going to grab this stack right here, this text stack, bring it on up over here. And I want to make the width on this, let's try 100%. And that's fine for right now. All right, and our start now button's up there as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this container, bring it up here, 
and you see that there's a top margin on here. So I have to go ahead and adjust that from 65 to 45. In fact, let's go a little bit lower, 35. And then I'm going to bring this to the middle of these two columns and stretch. Same thing with tutorials. Make sure I put these in the right order. Stretch and stretch. I'm gonna go here. Once again, 35 pixels top margin and 35 pixels for top margin. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save now and refresh the page. Go back to my mobile viewport and I have the text covering my face, which I don't want. So we're gonna make some changes here to the stack. Make the stack 90% width. And then I'm going to set the stack, dock it to the bottom and have it 5% from the bottom. And that looks good right there. Let me see how this goes. All right. I think that's looking a lot better now. It's not covering my face. I'm gonna go to this text box right here. Set this to 22, top margin and the button. 22 as well. And now let's give it a test. I'm gonna drag the handlebars. Text fits just right under my chin. I could make the title text a little bit smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and make this logo 80 pixels. So it's not so large. And I think that just about do it. All right, I've gone ahead and reloaded the page and I'm gonna to go to preview and test out our breakpoints. Here we're in desktop good looking good and this may look like it's all the way at the bottom but we have to take into account that this header is pushing everything down so that right there is technically 100% viewport and we just broke into tablet and then into mobile awesome now the next thing I want to check for is my minimum height that I set for these three rows. So, so far so good. I believe it's set to 200 pixels and it looks like that's not enough as this just keeps going and cutting off the text here and my text is running into the logo there. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit the page, edit the site, Click on the image, breadcrumbs down to the section, adjust grid, edit grid, and let's make this 350 pixels minimum height. 350 here as well. Three fifty here as well. I'm gonna click done. Save. And let's preview. So I'm coming down and you can see they stop these right here stopped shrinking, but now it's just the page that's shrinking. I think I want to give it just a little bit more just because this right here is too close for my liking. So I'm gonna go in here and select, let's go ahead and edit this grid. I'm gonna go ahead and cheat and make this one 400 pixels minimum. Click done, save and preview. That looks 
better. All right, and I can easily just scroll here and see all of my content. Now let's see how this works as we go into our different breakpoints. Let's test for those as well. All right, we're in our tablet now. And that is good. Okay. Go down to our mobile. And looks good. And there you have it. You have completed the grid tutorial for Editor X. And more importantly, you have built out a great hero section for your site or have the knowledge and tools to do so. To see other Wix tutorials, please be sure to leave a comment below letting me know. If not, let me know what you'd like to see next. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos around this topic or other web design tools, concepts, and strategies, then please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified when the next video is released. My name is Rich and thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time.